Hey guys, I hope you're doing very well. Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be talking about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Now, when it comes to the MCU, I have very uh, little expectations when a new Marvel movie or TV show comes out. It doesn't really sort of, you know, lift me up with, you know, enthusiasm or motivation watching it. It's kind of, you watch the, um, the movie and the TV show, you watch it and then you kind of just forget about it. I mean, there's there's too much Marvel content to kind of digest nowadays. Now, I didn't really enjoy Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I think it did have some good moments, but I think majority of that film was just a very sort of generic, basic Marvel trope, really. It, it didn't really offer anything new that could really be added to the, uh, the cinematic universe. But watching Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3... I actually enjoyed it. I think there's more good things I could really say about this film. It and it definitely had a good feel good factor to it. And also there's some aspects of this movie that it doesn't really just follow the same sort of um generic plot script like most of the movies do. I mean it kind of does t in a typical Marvel fashion, but they've added some bits in this sort of plot sequences that actually makes him more emotionally connecting uh, connecting and I will talk about that later but this movie doesn't have this movie does have its flaws I will say that it does have the generic Marvel feel to it but overall this is a good film now talking about the movie and some of the things that I do like about this film um, one of the main things that this movie does focus on which is actually my best past be best part <laughs> is uh, Rocket's past and I think they really um, got that sequence of this film pretty well and I like the way that the film kind of shifts from the present to Rocket's past which is very dark and it, it fills with a lot of tension as well because so basically in Rocket's past I'm not I'm, I'm gonna not get into spoilers but his past is he's captured by the high evolutionary and basically there's sort of um, things that the high evolutionary does to these uh, creatures. He does some sort of weird testing and trials and everything. And basically he, he's very um, grotesque in the way that he uh, does his, um, his work. And Rocket kind of has these visions of what goes on. And he also makes some friends as well. So he makes friends in this, um, in his past as well. I'm not going to explain what happens to them, but they really do. The, the whole sequence of that um, part of the film actually shifts very well, and it gets even more, in my view, very more emotional. And so I think that that really does connect very well. But yeah, other things I do like about this movie, I definitely think. Compared to Amman and Oz Quantumania, I definitely think the action is much improved. I think there's um, good action moments in this film. Um, I wouldn't say it's all perfect, but I definitely felt the um, the ending was probably the most um, the most part of the film that I think the action was really um, they put a lot of effort in. There's some cool slow-mo, there's also the uh, added touch of the music as well. And I also would say the soundtrack was really good. I think they really um, fitted that into this film pretty well. So, everything like from those sort of sequences was actually good. Now, again, not, not really perfect compared to many other Marvel projects. It's not the best you would see. But I think certainly in recent years... I think I could definitely appreciate this one more. And I, I kind of felt, you know, more connected with this movie. I think the ending really did have more sense of emotions, really. Because, again, like I mentioned about um, Rocket's past and those sort of sequences of events, he kind of gets it back from the present to his past. Not going into details of it because I don't want to spoil the, the movie, but you really do sort of... It does draw the attention in and I think the fact that they kind of took a more serious approach in his writing a little bit with building those emotions, I can actually appreciate that more. But yeah, if I had um, some criticism of this film, 
I don't know what it is for me, but watching the the, the sort of quirky comedy and gags and jokes, they're so nauseous and tedious. I, I really do get tired of it. I, I really feel like there is a potential that they could have taken this um, plot more seriously. I mean, it's not the most in-depth plot you would watch. It's kind of is generic but I think it does develop in some sense with some going back in past events to the present and I think that's something I could appreciate but why is it that they always have to add some quirky jokes and some unserious gags I mean people would say oh it's the Guardians of the Galaxy is supposed to be funny but you know I really think they could have put more emphasis to kind of step back from the comedy I think too much time the fact that they kind of try and force it in more often it kind of does have that sort of very sort of soulless uneventful way of trying to sort of build up the emotions and the drama a little bit it kind of just feels very um flat all of a sudden and, it, and I kind of got very tired of it really now I will also state that the, uh, the villains aren't the strongest in this movie now the high revolutionary evolutionary I think his name is um I I think he is the main villain in this film I was kind of confused because I was kind of looking at the trailers and everything it it felt that Adam Warlock was supposed to be the main villain but I think it's kind of shifted to the high revolutionary I will state you don't really see a lot of Adam Warlock and I think he was actually a, a, a cool looking character but it was a shame that he had such very little screen time I think Probably you would see about 20 minutes to half an hour of his screen time when this movie is about 2 hours 30 minutes, which is, I think for a Marvel movie now, is is kind of long. But, you did, yeah, you don't really get much screen time of watching Adam Morlock. Um, and also, the High Revolutionary, he does have some cool powers, but I never really felt his um, presence and the writing around him was really that strong. I think, as well, I don't think the... Um, the, as well as I think the acting is kind of good, I think the writing around the, the, the characters were not really um, developed well. I, I, I also felt like some of the characters like uh, Gamora was just very uh, condescending and arrogant. And I just felt her drama and her acting just got really irritating. I, I mean, I can't remember watching the previous Guardians of the Galaxy movies, but remembering kind of watching it was kind of you know a good feel good movie about a team working together and you know it had character it had soul it really developed well but they really do try and put more emphasis on quirky jokes and gags a little bit and some weird sort of acting and that that was a little bit questionable to me now I know this was intended to be the last Guardians of the Galaxy movie I think under its name but I don't know what it is, but I never really felt very emotional about it. I don't know why. It's, uh, I think really when you watch so much of the Marvel movies now, especially Phase 4 onwards, I think the fact there's just been so much Marvel content to digest and it's been, f- you know, fisted down our throats all the time with so many characters, so many stories. I think when you kind of watch the old legacy characters like the Guardians of the Galaxy, I think there's just less emphasis to care about it's kind of like they're kind of shifted out by uh marvel so you know it's a bit it's a bit sad that really marvel's direction has kind of made this movie a little bit you know what i would say not really emotional and not very connecting because there's just been so much marvel content and the guys of the galaxy has been um you know the two previous films were really were actually good films and you know the characters were good but I think because now there's just been so much Marvel content, so many characters now, I feel they have kind of been sidecast, really, because there's just so much Marvel characters now, and it's like, what is there to care about? So it's it's a bit sad that's kind of it's been that way, but yeah, that's it's that's kind of it. It was kind of a fitting tribute, but it, again, it's just sad that really the direction that Marvel's been taking in recent years has kind of left it a little bit untouched. But yeah, overall, if I had to rate Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's a good film, 
Um, listen, I, I don't think this is a movie I would really say that you need to go and watch it. You know, go immediately watch it in the theater. You know, it's gonna this movie's gonna change the story, add more emphasis to the MCU. I think it's it's a good film, but I don't think it's gonna send that upward trajectory to really um, improve the quality of the MCU's movies. So that's kind of all really I've got to say about that. There's good things I could say. Like I said, I think Rocket's story is the strongest part of this film. And I think, and I definitely like the fact that the plot shifts from Rocket's past to the present. And they kind of make the Guardians of the Galaxy have, you know, that sort of element of working together as a group to really um, help Rocket. Um, so that's really the, uh, the good things I could really say about this film. But other problems are, I do think you know marvel's typical writing kind of overrides the emotions of this film and i really think the um a lot of the times with the comedy and the writing and the acting does feel very uh, weak at times and i think intending to be- make this the final guys of the galaxy movie with so much marvel content and how marvel's been going around producing the uh, the films and tv shows of late it, it makes these characters feel very much not relevant as much, which is a bit of a shame, really. But overall, it's a good, it's a good movie, and yeah, that's about it. See you later.